Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everybody? Hey, 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 Alex, how are you? Um, I would say, I would say pretty standard fear today. So nice. Got a lot hey, of work done. Long time Ned. no see, smile. Dude, long time no see, man. How are you? What's up, man? I feel like, when's the last time we, we, got, we got to see you, Nev? I feel like it's been a while. Um, where's Fried at? Fried, <laughs> he needs to be here, dude. Got myself, uh, good, even, good evening, Alex and chat. I'm building my 40th birthday present to myself. Uh, where, why can't I read this? Sonnet while watching the stream. Hell yeah, man. Happy birthday. Is it your birthday today, Grid? Is it today? Hope you're all well. Well, Bull, let me tell you personally, I am very sad today. What's up, Apiary? How you doing? Hope I hope you've had a great great day today, Apiary. Uh, Bull, let me tell you why I'm sad. Because I had to pack up the Pangea. <laughs> now I gotta figure out which one I want. I am I loving like the, the Command Pangea 65, Alex. I put GMK Extended 2048 yeah, Dark on it. Unfortunately, the backspace is a smidge warped in that and it is scraping the side. Oh, I might really? have to convert your board to a split back Wait. one. Like your actual keycap is warped, Zany? But Marcia, how you doing? Been super busy, man, right now. Um, I'm in the hospital, so I have time to watch. Broke my knee. Oh my God. Nev, dude, feel better, my guy. That fucking sucks. I cannot even imagine the pain you have to go through for that right now. God damn. With love, I'm gonna go back to bed. Sleep well, Marcia. Feel better. Feel so much better. Hi, Alex and chat. What's up, KIY? How you doing? Tons of morphine, so I'm not complaining. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> That's something, I guess. Sorry, guys. I didn't put the build command again today. I am going through the most amount of switches I am lubing um, in a long time. And I just haven't had time to, like... Usually, I have, like, 20 minutes before stream. But lately, I've been having three or four minutes before stream before I can really like focus in on the command side of things. So maybe I should just do it during the day, but I've been so busy today. Today has been jammed with stuff. I actually feel very on top of things this week. So I, it has been a good mindset to be in. You know what I mean? Um, we got the, the date now for the Obscura switches, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw that. Obscura restock happening since everyone really wanted them. Uh, cannot wait. Hell yeah, dude. I have some really bad insomnia and I actually got to sleep last night. So that's Pog. Fuck yes, bro. Hell yeah. How'd that feel, by the way? Finishing my first solder key, now the universe. Oh my god, the universe is such a good board. Hell yes to that. Yeah, everyone's sick. Dude, everyone over the last two weeks has been sick, including myself. I hope everyone's, whoever's sick and injured. <laughs> dude, I feel you guys on that. I feel you guys, I hope you guys feel better. I meant to contact you earlier today about the build commission, but was a bit late to your message. Oh, that's okay, Taz. I'm going to be responding to everything tomorrow morning. Um, whatever I missed from like whenever I stopped responding to things onwards on Discord. So I think you had mentioned in your build request that you prefer Discord as a mode uh, of communication. But I got through a bunch of responses today. Um, and if I missed it, I'll, I'll go through some more tomorrow. Well, if, I, if you responded, I'll go through more tomorrow. Easy peasy. Boney Tony. Boney Yaitona, you gifted a tier one sub to Ru underscore MC. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you so much, man. Um, by the way, like I said, I think Sunday. Yeah, we'll just do it Sunday stream. Sunday, we'll do the redraw for the giveaway that was someone was very kind enough and said, hey, I don't think I want this. Um, so we'll do a redraw for one of the giveaways. Loving your obscures in the Odo's Copper Sonnet. I need to have rebuild. Um, I have a sonnet. I still need to do a personal one. Today we're doing a fossil. Actually, I wanted to see this fossil. 200 great streams in a row? Oh my god! Dude! 
That is crazy. Thank you so much, man. Cracked. That's crazy, bro. Uh, in your opinion, how's the stock loop on Obscuras? Hey, dude, let me keep it a buck, bro. I don't like it. I think it's just okay. Um, but I have people telling me that it is the best thing ever. So I think I'm conflicted. Um, I personally prefer lubing my Obscuras. Um, I just, I, I'm, I can hear the difference, but I have some people who tell me the opposite, right? So I, I don't know, maybe it's a, it's a hit and miss type thing. Personal preference. Thank you, Cracked. Appreciate, appreciate that, bro. Uh, dude, Alex, how excited are you for the Constance TKL build? I'm so excited that I was trying to figure out if I could stream that earlier. I, I am, I already prepped the switches for it and everything, guys. I prepped some cherry switches for it. I did that today. So I am actually, that is, uh, there's a few boards I'm really excited for. Let me, let me tell you guys. Let me go to my build log. Obviously every client build, that I am super excited for. But there is, uh, dude. There is still a, uh, sick and pretty sure I have COVID. Your streams are the only oh. thing getting M. E through Dude, all. I, I hope you feel better, man. Thank you so much for the bits. The Constance is... Uh, let me just do some notable ones. Constance. There is one called the Origami. Uh, origami, origami. Um, that one there I'm kind of excited to take a look at. Um, this is not something I'm going to be buying, and I think it's already been sold through, but the uh, I, I'm kind of excited to build an uh, EEAT. That I'm really excited to build. Um, there's some other minor ones. Like I'm all the client boards, like I said, are pretty exciting. And then I have another one coming out. We're doing in like middle of November called the Adamas. That looks really cool. I'm very interested in looking at that one. Uh, and then just some other stuff too. Even the Lumen Key LX60 should be a fun stream. So yeah, building an uh, EAT. Bro is building three boards I designed this month. The EEAT, to be fair, is on the 30th. So technically, yes, this month, but it's near the end. So, yeah, Bull, I got a lot of your stuff in, man. Your stuff's popular, bro. Just snuck in, yeah. Since Kawasair is priming up for the EAU70... Is it just EU75GB? Any chance you'll check it out? Um, yes. I think it's on my build list. But I think right now it's still tentative for the 20th. It keeps getting pushed back because they're, I think they're trying to figure out some last things for the vendors. Um, the Atomass is sick. You've seen it too? Dude, it is a nice looking board, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of nice keyboards coming out. And, I, and again, I want to stress this. I have been absolutely loving that designers have been putting some more effort into their boards recently and not afraid. And by effort, sorry, I don't mean effort. Some more... What's a good word to use? Sorry, I can't think of one. Some more like oomph, you know? Some more like not afraid to make it expensive, you know? Because I think that was severely missing from the hobby. Thought maybe is a good word too. Because dude, I'm not gonna lie, man. I was getting, I'm getting a little, you know, I don't know about you guys, but there, there's some severe burnout with, with some of the boards that are a little bit more, um, you know, they're designed to be affordable. And with that comes sacrifices you have to do for design, you know? So some more balls, some more personality, some more pizzazz. Yeah, exactly that. But I think that's been, that's been really nice to see. I've been very happy about seeing some of that stuff recently. So yeah, it's, it's been good. I think there's some awesome boards. The Constance is definitely up there for me. Um, I haven't even unboxed that yet because I want to save my reaction is for that, you know? I fell off because of all the boards just being the same, all cheap copies of one another, nothing special. Yeah, I've, I've talked about this before. The keyboard hobby had to go. It, like, hear me out, hear me out. The keyboard hobby had to go through a race to the bottom in order to figure out what's next for the hobby. It was necessary. And it was, you know, it, it's a little unfortunate because the race to the bottom thing is never like super fun for, you know, design or anything like that. So once it once it got through its little race to the bottom thing and, you know, everyone's like, all right, we've made the cheapest things possible and we understand this now. Let's go back. That's when I, even me, I was like, I am so excited for this. So the hobby is, in my opinion, just off based off the keyboards alone, super fucking exciting right now. 
All right, I want to see this fossil. My desk pad is sliding around everywhere. I want to buy a new one that actually has a grip on the bottom or something. Yeah, there is so many good boards coming out. Ooh, is this just an all black fossil? Another stealthy build? For me, the hobby is still way larger than it ever was when I got into it. And the first big keyboards for me, dude, Philco and Ducky are still sick. I haven't seen this one yet. Ah, uh, this is, this is so cool. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I have not seen, yeah, I have not seen this weight on this one here yet. This is fucking awesome. As someone who's really into dinosaurs, it is super cool to see. An Alexosaurus. Hell yeah, dude, this is so cool. What do you guys think? Which weight do you guys prefer, the T-Rex or the, uh, I don't know what dinosaur this is exactly, but I love dinosaurs. Super, super awesome. The long neck boy. <laughs> I like this one. I like this one here a bit more, yeah. I don't know why, this just feels like right on the way, you know? Super neat. I love this board though, it's a really cool board. Brontos is it a Brontosaurus? All right, and we're doing a solderable PCB today. Imagine patina. Dude, the patina... Dude, if I were ever to uh, pick and choose stuff for a design I'd do, I'd want one weight option to at least be uncoated copper. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, keep wanting to say Stegosaurus because of those... Oh, movies? No. I don't know if it is. <laughs> Bowl, hee hee. What switches are these? These are, I think these are H HMX gravels. Yeah, actually, yeah, I think they're HMX gravels. It's in the build log. I just have to go look at the build log. Hell yeah, these sound great. I'm excited to get this paired up with this board. Uh, I love how they made the Anno as black. Uh, like the tar pits, dude, that is, that is actually interesting. There's a ton of boards with engraved weights, but the fossil just hits on another level. Maybe it's because dino aspect. I personally think it's the dinosaur aspect. It's that dino fucking pizzazz, dude, you know? That's the word for today is pizzazz. Uh, so a friend of mine that works with patina told me one of the best ways to patina is... That's very specific, my guy. That is very specific. Did I miss some some redeems, by the way? <laughs> Did I miss some redeems? Ball spin? I got you with the ball spin right now. So nice. Thank you, Boxster. Appreciate that, man. Uh, another use for horse urine? Oh gosh. All right, let's get some stabs lubed. Whoa. AP screw-ins. I have not used these in a hot minute, I feel. Hey Chad, do you know um, what dinosaur's favorite key is? Control Rex. The two full-size keyboards you've done in the past week should both um, Oh, dude, technically, yeah, they both kind of have to do with, like, prehistoric times. The Pangea and the Fossil. Hey, why are they both named after prehistoric times? All right, we need a bunch of stats for this, huh? Old layout? Oh, gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight stabs. So, let's get this prepped. Let us get this prepped here. So that's five, and I need this. Coincidence? I think so. Mm-hmm. That appears to be a drawing of the Brontosaurus by O.T. Marsh, late 19th century. I mean, that's really cool. I, I think it's late 19th century. That's really cool, though. I really like the fossil when it came out. 
I, I just had a good experience with it and I'm glad people got the group buy and it's just awesome. I am super, super glad. <clears throat> I honestly really wanna do a battle station board design. Interesting, but I don't even know if I could get 50 people to join a GB at that point, it'd be a thousand plus dollars. Yeah. GBs are in a weird spot right now as it is. I personally feel like there's such like a, not bad stigma behind them at the moment, but it's really hard to satisfy anyone in the hobby right now with a lot of that stuff. So, I mean, in a way it is stigma, I guess. Posture check. Uh, do you think the new fee gem 80 is worth the price? I did a full written review on that one there. And honestly, I think the keyboard is really nice. If you like the design, which is kind of unique, I think the design is worth a pickup. It does have a lot of good features. Like if you're more into the feature side of keyboards, then yeah, I think it's great. Plus new is like a pretty decent company from what I understand. It seems like they're even their, their teams that I spoke to were pretty nice. I don't know if they're maybe different when it comes to customer service. Uh, but they seemed pretty, pretty pleasant overall. Uh, and just so you guys know too, for this one, I'm only using 205. I do not like TX stabs with dielectric grease. I think they just becomes super, super sluggish. So no dielectric grease today. <clears throat> uh, PCB mounted stabs with the Gem 80. Yeah. There's a few little minor grievances I had with that board, but overall it was a pretty decent experience, you know? I know you've said that in the past, Gingy, but for me, I've only ever had bad experiences while using dielectric grease. Well, not always, but most of the time I've had bad experiences, even with light coats. So for me, I just prefer to use 205 on these. My beef with Newfie about the Gem 80 is the blue keycaps do not match the blue keyboard and it hurts my brain. And it was kind of hard to match with plastic sometimes. Um, what's your take on full size boards? I have no, I have no hot take on them. I think people can like whatever they want to like, and I'm not, not going to sit there and seriously judge someone for it. You know what I mean? I've had so many bad experiences with uh, GBs. I will avoid it, but I can by darling is calling my name. Um, I mean, if it makes you feel better about Darling, Darling is a pre-order. Like whether or not the group buy gets made or like whether or not like the minimum amount of people buy it or not, which they did already, um, it's being made. So plus Novel Keys has been excellent. I'm also biased because I work for them, but we're pretty good. <laughs> I hope. I don't know. Can you still buy this board, guys? Or did extra sell out? I'm not too positive. I mean, if you guys are in the market, I, I'm i not, you know, I don't have any affiliation to this. There's no affiliate code that wasn't paid. If you guys are in the market for full size right now and you don't want the fossil or you can't find the fossil, there's always the Pangea. Pangea is out right now for, for group buy. So in case, Oh yeah, the seal soon too. Oh yeah, I got the seal in. I need to make time for the seal. Actually, when is the seal releasing? Let's see. Do you know when the seal's coming out, guys? Um, I think I got it in. Actually, I'm not too sure. Never mind. I did not get it in yet. I think seal's already up. Oh, maybe I did get it in yet. Let me know, or I guess I'll, I'll figure it out for you guys. Yeah, maybe I'll have to sneak that in the next upcoming week too. We'll sneak in another group or another group by board that's coming in here. Cause I think I got either the seal in or something else. Seal does look nice. How have I been? Um, I would say I am, I am doing pretty good. I'm a little, overworked I think right now just because like I, I have a lot of stuff on my plate but it's not it's it's interesting because it's not a bad overworked it's not like I am like desperate to get out of what I'm doing right now because I want to go do something else I think I'm just like over 
stimulate it in a lot of ways. This sounds really weird. I am going to be doing the PT um, 1 slash 75 as well. But I'm just, I'm just like over, there's just a lot happening. I think just a lot of stimulus, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I don't know. Pretty good otherwise. A little overwhelmed at times, yeah. Maybe we can say that. I will say though, I have been a lot more, it's it's weird because I'm looking around my, my work area and it's kind of messy, but I feel like the most organized when it comes to what I have to do and getting things done than I've ever been, especially this last week. I think I really kind of just said, okay, screw it. You know, I really got to figure out a better system for things. So that's been nice too. I feel like wearing this sweater was a bit of a mistake. It's like just sweater weather, but also when you stream and there's lights, kind of warms up the area a little bit. So maybe I have to switch back into a regular schmegular shirt. Um, I get the overstimulated thing. Dude, my best advice is to slow down and take a step back and analyze everything. Yeah, that's what I did today a little bit and it kind of helped, but there's still a lot of like unexpected things that helped, didn't help today, so. Doing my thing, you know, doing my thing. I started getting a ton of headaches recently in the afternoon. My doc ordered a sleep study. She thinks I might not be getting good sleep. Oh, does that mean you might have to join the club with me and a few other people here? Sleep apnea. Got to wear the CPAP. Are you going to be joining the club? Well, tomorrow I'm going to be, for the most part, most in the mostly in the afternoon. I will be probably taking off most of the day. However, because I did, I did, I prepped a lot of switches today. Uh, I may sneak in a stream tomorrow evening. Um, I think I should join the club too. It's 1 a.m. for me right now and I'm not sleeping. Well, that might just be because you're staying up. <laughs> do you find yourself waking up during the middle of the night? If you do and you think you're kind of like choking or whatever, it could be sleep apnea. A lot of people have it, man. A lot of people do. I think I should join, or oh, already read that one there. Is there a solder PCB today? Of course. We're doing a little solderable. Well, not little. It's quite big, actually. It is quite big. Also, I don't feel like getting too much into it, but I just want to say this, dude. I find when I go to bed at night, for whatever reason, there's always a few people who like to push the limits on, on, on Discord. And last night, there was like two people, one pe one person really, who was kind of like pushing the limits of just like randomness that they're doing and just taking shit too far. And uh, I hope you guys know, and I, I just need to get it off my chest. We're, we're, we're kind of have this like zero tolerance now in, in Discord. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to address too is even pretentiousness. I'm starting to have like a zero tolerance for. Um, one thing in particular that I need to see like gone, because I, I don't know, I think it's rude, you know, when people come in the Discord and they say stuff like, I want a thocky keyboard. The thing that needs to disappear is I see some people tease them about that and it doesn't feel like it's in a joking, you're included way. It feels like in a ha ha point and laugh way. Um, that needs to stop. That absolutely is just not okay. Because that essentially would be turning into what every other Discord is, which is just like make fun of people who don't have the knowledge you do type thing. I saw the shenanigans last night when I was out. Yeah, I banned that person if you saw that bell doink. My BF has been wanting a full size. He has a Jane me at the moment and said he could just get a numpad. What do you recommend? I mean, you want to know the best full size I've ever used is the Pangea. I'm not even kidding you. I've become now a bull fanboy 
but um nev it's up right now it has to be probably the best sounding full size full size keyboard i have ever seen in my entire life can i still call gmk cherry and aluminum plate the starbucks combo i mean you can if they're part of the joke but i think if they're not like i think okay here's my perspective on things you know what i mean like if let's just say dynamite joined for the first time today and he was like brand new to the brand new to the hobby brand new to our, our community and we start calling it the Starbucks combo. Like it feels almost discouraging to say it to someone who might not understand or know what's going on. So obviously it's, I think it comes down to kind of have to use, use your judgment there. Like I don't see a problem with teasing around and joking around, but it kind of have to be part of the joke. I can't do this. I can't buy another keyboard. I'm sorry, Dynamite. Uh, you're also doing Cosmos, though. Might wait for that stream. Cosmos. Which one's Cosmos? Am I doing Cosmos? I don't know. I don't even know what board. Is that a board? Or I thought that was the set. Mm -mm. Um, but people need to get off their high horse and realize that everyone. I mean, yeah. Pretentiousness is something that's been really getting under my skin recently. If I'm being honest with you guys. Because I already feel like this hobby has enough of that. And if you're going to be pretentious, then I don't want to say I'm going to ban people for that because it's just irritating, but I probably will end up just kicking or muting people. Like there's no, there's no point for it. There's no need for it. It's just bad vibes, dude. And I don't know about you guys. I'm here to have fun and accept people into this hobby. You know what I mean? Ray, you better take tons of photos, dude. That sounds Super awesome, my friend. You better take tons of pictures. <clears throat> uh, people also don't realize it takes um, experience to learn some things and a lot of people just don't have money. Dude, that's so true too. That's a really good point you make. The shenanigans yesterday felt like I got attacked and I was trying to help the dude. Oh, is that the guy that I banned Zykos? So, yeah, apparently he's been like that in the past. The KFE build really inspired me to rebuild but... my transition TKL with Sun Hut Tactile and I couldn't be happier. Hell yes, dude. That is awesome. The B-Sun's been making some good stuff too. I like B-Sun switches. Taking too many pictures. It's going to be a moment. Uh, oh my God. Monumental, not momental. I can already feel it. Hell yeah, dude. I think most people have been very friendly though in the Discord. I've met a lot of people in Discord who have gone out of their way to help me. Yeah, there, there is so many good people in our community. Like I fucking love it, dude. Um, it is an amazing, amazing place. And I cannot thank you guys enough for even making it that way. But, uh, you know, I, I wanna continue to like foster the stuff that we've done. You know, it, it is it is truly, when you think about it, it's very much a blessing because I even saw like people were in just Discord on video talking to people. Like it is awesome to see that, man. Uh, most people in Discord are pretty friendly, even though I joined like two days ago. I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Nice hoodie. Thanks, meme. It's Wolverine. Uh, there's some di definite differences, but damn, you do a. What happened? I just wish there was a way to explain the difference between a customizable pre-built and a custom without sounding like an ass. There are some definite differences. I mean, I feel like that's getting very specific. You know what I mean? And I feel, yeah, I feel like you're going to be end up, if, if you end up trying to like explain that to someone, you're punching down because dude, let me explain. Like I just saw that on Reddit and I think we talked about it yesterday. So I don't, I don't know how I truly feel about people judging people on what they have and what they enjoy, you know, even if people want to like, dude, if someone buys a, a pre-built keyboard and wants to call it a custom, like, yeah, I get there's that small difference there, but at the end of the day, like, I'm not going to shit on someone's parade. If they ended up buying a custom or a keyboard and put some keycaps on it, it's still custom to them. You know what I mean? 
to get so specific, I feel like is just, it's kind of like a losing battle and the only person winning really is you. You know what I mean? I, I am kind of like, I, I got a lot better. I don't really do that at all anymore, but I kind of do it like where I over explain things and I just kind of feel like I'm talking down to people uh, to help them buy the right thing. I mean, if they're asking for help, that's one thing, right? If they're asking like, can you explain me the difference or can you show me what's this and all that? Then I think that's different though. The uh, well, only person winning is the person making the mass produced cheap board. But if that makes someone happy, then I mean, it is what it is, right? If that makes someone happy, then I'm all here for it. Love the good morning and good night messages. Yeah. They're cute. Now I want to go see if we got the seal or was it the 175? I feel like it might have been the 175. Maybe they didn't send me a seal. Now I'm con I'm just trying, I'm looking back at what they sent me here and it may have just been the 175. I did send them a quick little message though, seeing which one they sent over. Uh, I'm actually, maybe I'll go get up here and Take a look. It's the TKD 75. No, no, no. It's uh, let me see if I can find a link for you guys. I don't even know if it's if there's a page for it yet or something. Maybe not. Maybe not the the page I have. All right. Well, now I'm curious. I wonder if they can still get out a seal to me because I really want to look at that board. Will NK bring back the 165? I'm not too sure. My sub expired and I just resubbed for six months, but didn't show the notification for some reason. Oh, well, always glad to support you. Wait, so it just resubbed like automatically? Cause it still shows your sub lost. I don't know if it pop, does it pop up every month when you do that? I'm not too sure. It sounded like a bit of a yes. Okay, I, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, now you guys got me curious. I want to go see. Do you guys want to give me like three or four minutes? I want to go see if it's a seal or something else that, that Click Clack sent. Because I'm looking at my messages and they mentioned both boards, but then just said, here's your tracking code. And I don't know if it's both, but I don't think it was both. It was really small box. Well, the thin box. Okay, now I gotta go check. Now I'm actually, Extremely, extremely curious. I'll shout it out to you guys, whatever I find. Um, never mind. Is this, wait, is this the seal? Oh shoot. I don't know. I feel like it is. I feel like this is a big box. This is nice looking. Quite 
heavy. Oh, this is nice. Hmm. I like the sharp edges on this. W case. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's that one there. Well, damn. I'm hoping maybe I can still get a, a seal in. Maybe we can we can ask for a seal still. Okay, I asked. No fossil t-shirt today? <laughs> my number one fan? My number one fan shirt? Hey, do you guys know I'm Fried's number one fan? I love the fact that using an MX vertical mouse, it's an okay mouse. I have a, uh, I actually went down a rabbit hole last night cause I want to try different skates for my normal mouse that I use for my, you know, gaming and stuff. Uh, good thing I did not go down the rabbit hole too far though. So I went, I, I was looking at a very specific skate and it was only like seven dollars for the skates but then shipping was forty dollars also fur i saw that you're here now what's up man so i op i opted to not buy uh the skates so that was i didn't launch genshin no 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 i didn't even play games last night I kind of went straight to bed yeah, they only had express shipping to Canada as an option. I'm sure it was cheaper probably for the people in the United States, but I was a bit bummed. Ooh, these clip in like hardcore. I have a glass mouse pad that I actually really enjoy, but I will say that I prefer I have these sapphire skates or whatever they are for my other mouse, the Lamzu. And I prefer using the Sora. I like the shape of the Sora V2 more. And I would love to get similar skates, but god damn, dude. Expensive. Genshin's a gotcha game, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. It's, it definitely almost got me. Why do I always join on mouse talk? I don't know, Elquan. It's really weird that you do that, bro. It's like you hear it. <laughs> uh, which one, Jinji? Did you ping me or something? Let's see. It's in keyboard chat. What the fuck? This is gigantic. That's really cool, actually. Duet. Interesting. Look at Potent Gaming for skates. Elquan, can you DM that to me? I would I would love you forever and always. <clears throat> Spooky horror for Halloween? Movie recommendations? Oh my god. Can I, I haven't finished yet and I have a nasty habit of doing this. I started this movie yesterday. It was on Netflix. I don't remember what it was called. A Man Named Otto, I think. I've only watched like 30 minutes of it so far. Just because I, I just started it before, you know, while I was looping some switches. I started it yesterday, but then I never finished it today. Bro, I am on the edge of crying and feeling very emotional during that entire th movie so far. And it's only been half an hour. So that one there is a, that one there I know is going to be a tough one to finish. I have to be in the mood, I feel like, now, because I, I just know I'm going to get super sad watching that thing, man. It, it's super good so far. No, I haven't been watching The Penguin. 
It's worth it though, it's a good movie. I know it's gonna be so worth it, but I, I'm gonna be a mess after that one. I already know, dude. It's the one with Tom Hanks, yeah. I'm gonna be such a mess after that one. Interstellar, not a horror movie, but still really good. Hell yeah, dude. Alex, outside of Earth Tones, what would you recommend to put on a clay derivative? GMK Wob. Don't hate me, bro. Please don't hate me. The movie is really fucking sad, dude. Just warning you. Oh, Interstellar? I didn't find Interstellar that sad. I enjoyed watching it. I, I personally thought it was just a good movie. I didn't find it emotional. So nice. Wow. That's it. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's it. What's up, Scooped? Oh my god, guys. Fuck TX stabs right now. Why are these so difficult to pop in? Holy crap. A man called Otto? Oh yeah, it's, I mean, I already know. Cause you're weak? Honestly, probably. <sighs> I saw a gothic horror JRPG called Penny Blood. That's a spiritual successor to the Shadow Hearts series. Love the game mechanics. Oh dude, scary video games are a different beast. I can't do scary games. I can do scary movies. I can't do scary games. Fuck that, dude. With with scary movies, I can at least separate myself from what I'm watching and I can be like, all right, you know, it is what it is. With scary games, dude, I'm playing that shit. I am immersed in the character I am. Resident Evil's not that scary. If I have a, it, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I couldn't get through Outlast because I don't have a, I, like, I don't have a gun or like a weapon in Outlast. Like, I got a fucking flashlight, bro. And like, I can't do it. It doesn't make me feel good when I can't defend my own character. And I'm forced to just hide in things. Alien was really hard for me too. I couldn't do alien isolation because I couldn't attack the alien. Just give me a goddamn ass assault rifle. I'll attack the alien and I'll feel a lot better. <laughs> but I can't do it with those games that are like, you get no weapons. I'm like, fuck off, dude. Hell no, man. The only scary game I went through was Alien. It was just because it was fucking good. Alien is a good game. I just can't do it. None are as scary as the duties Canada charges. Honestly, big fucking true, Fried. Big true. Basically, no self-defense. Yeah, I hate it, man. <laughs> Work's been getting uh, tough lately. Uh, almost missed your stream, BRS. I'm glad you didn't miss it. I'm glad you're here. I hope work hasn't been... I know you said it's getting tough, but I hope it hasn't got to a breaking point yet. I haven't played Resident Evil 7, but I played some of the Resident Evils, and I didn't feel like they were super scary. You know what game kind of was my first foray into like scary gaming was Fear. If you guys remember Fear? Fear had its moments. Today I was happy to have two keyboards. My W key was tweaking when gaming. Apparently, so I swapped out the there keyboard. are shipping yeah, ship, ship that ships shipping ships. So, I wonder how many ships could a shipping ship ship if a shipping ship could ship ship. Bro, that sounded like those TikToks where it's like, have you ever appled? If you ever apple the knife, then you apple, you apple. You know what I'm talking about? Those TikToks that make no sense? And they kind of fuck with your brain a lot. That kind of fucked with my brain a lot. <laughs> he looks so angry, bro. Confused. But this actually makes sense. Apparently, there are shipping ship, ship that ships. Oh, I can't fucking do it. I'm sorry, man. Daggerful? You got jump scared? Love you, Zany. I hope you've been enjoying the keyboard too, man. 
Buffalo, 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 buffalo is a grammatically correct sentence. What? Oh, God. Hi, Alex made another stream. What's up, darkness? How you doing, man? I can't, dude. Also, thank you guys all for the bits and subs. I really appreciate the love, guys. Thank you, thank you, to the highest degree. Thank you. Boney, thank you again, man. Check link, hold on one moment. Let me finish doing my stabs here. Oh God, Buffalo, wait, Buffalo, Buffalo is real. My Bakaneko ghost space bar still sounds like shit. I've switched this uh, switch, I've lubed the stabs, I've relubed the stabs, got any other tips? What keycap are you using for this bony? What's the keycap choice here? Oh, you built your Kibu Harbor with Nixies on PC? The Harbor does sound better in a PC plate. I got to admit, I love my Harbor. I got to use it more often. It's, it's literally, I know where it is right behind me too. I just need to put keycaps back on it now. It is such a nice board. Um... What do I think of the Pangea? I mean, I used it with what, the PP plate? I think it can sound good with CF. I'm not really a big carbon fiber fan these days. Like it has to be a very specific board. Fuck. But um, the, I think the Pangea is so fucking nice. Not only does it look really nice, I think the, the sound profile on it and the comfort is it's fantastic. I think my only gripe is I don't love, I, I don't know. Maybe I don't like that uh, milled kind of weight. It doesn't really make sense in that particular board. Like that special pattern they have. But I think it's a, I think it's a good looking keyboard. Dude, I'm hoping full size make a comeback. Hell yeah, let's make full size a thing again. Zany, did you link me something? Where's the link? Just heard from Mashkeebs, they're going to do an R4 order if of the Ergo. I'm so excited, I missed it on before. Hell yeah, dude. What is this? The ship that ships, shipping ships. <laughs> this is, looks like an AI generated fucking image, dude. That is crazy to me. That shit looks AI gen. How on earth do I open this? Oh, it's right over here. I got a full size for work one month ago. All my coworkers were so impressed and how silent it was. What switches did you use? Silence? Like, I'm assuming silent switches. <sighs> oh, baby. The PC boo. Let's get these boys installed. There's a lot of stabs. You know what I love about the choice of the switches and the keyboard? Because the, the keyboard has a dinosaur on the back that's a herbivore. So it kind of looks like these are just little herbs that they're, they're feasting on. I don't know if Fur intended to do that because this is Fur's board today, but uh, that is a fun little choice. The PC, buh. I used Otemo silent switches since I couldn't afford more expensive ones. Dude, oh, dude, you don't need to buy expensive ones. Otemos are really nice. Probably gonna, for Boba U4Ss, I actually don't like the Boba U4Ss. I prefer other silent switches if I'm being like on the real dude. Wish you'd let me feast on you, huh? What the? Do we know what the NK key cult colors are gonna be? Yeah, they have it on um, the blog. It's like a, a green and a, what did they call this one here? Purple maroon? It's like that burgundy. I mean, I'm using it right now, actually. What the hell am I talking about? I actually really like the key cult. Again, the key cult's the key cult. Uh, I have no quarrels with the 170 or one TKL or 165. 
I think they're beautiful boards. I gotta admit though, the switches I put in these have been really keeping me on this board. Um, I have been enjoying the crap out of the blue cheese switches. I think they're fantastic. I just know one of my friends has U4S's and he's really happy with them. Yeah, I'm sure. it's all personal preference, by the way. I just think they're a little expensive. That's like my only gripe. If a switch was a, oh God. If a switch was a switch, would you switch your switch for a lube switch or a switch switch? What's going on? I feel fucking dizzy. Uh, the blue cheeses are key geek. I feel dizzy guys. Uh, planning out a future build with Neo 65, HMX Zinhais, and a CF plate. Which mounting style would you recommend in your experience? Oh god, I cannot remember now which one of the Neo 65 mounts that I like the most. Um, damn. What are the options for the Neo 65 again? You have to refresh my memory. I feel like I'm always looking at Neo keyboards. Oh, we're looking at the Neo 75 this Friday, by the way, guys. I don't know if you guys saw, but Neo 75 is indeed Friday. Was it Gasket I liked more? I know for a fact I didn't like O-Ring. Was there one more thing with the Neo 65 now? Stop the madness before oh. Alex has an aneurysm, please. Wow. 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 Do the blue cheese switches actually come with cheese? Oh, it's plastic cheese. That'd be really cool if it came with like some sample cheese on the reel but I think that would be very difficult to ship out. <laughs> Can you imagine? Was there a top mount for Neo 65? I can't remember, but I think it might've been Gasket. I think most of the Neo boards have really weak O-ring. New follower, quick question. Hey, anytime. And thank you. What keyboard is that red one and what are the keycaps they are rocking? That is a key cult, um, number one TKL. And the keycaps, was it just called GMK Mandalorian? Or The Mandalorian? It's a Star Wars keycap set. It's, it, I'm looking at it right now. The Mandalorian GMK keycap set. So it's The Mandalorian. <coughs> I think GMK Mandalorian makes more sense, but it's a Disney product, so. It's a nice, it's a nice set. If you're really into Star Wars, like I am, the cheese wouldn't spoil too easily during transit. Yeah, it might spoil pretty easy, huh? Looks clean, thank you. So nice. Hope all is good, dude. Dude, thank you so much for the Prime Man. Eight months, all is good. Um, Things have been going very, very well. Uh, What other news can I tell you guys? I have a few, I mean, I've, I don't know if I told you guys, but I did the um, stabilizer modding recommendation list. That has been updated on the stab ranking guide. So that is all there. If you guys are interested, I know I promised you guys that last week and I got it out Monday, I believe. So that that is big. But other than that, that's all I've been really doing. I have just been trying to do more stuff for the community. I've been shifting my focus lately into more community aspect things for the hobby. Uh, as well as like just getting streams done. But how have you, how have you been, man? If it, oh God, not again, Boba. Fuck, thank you so much, dude. I hate the clear gaskets. Thank you so much for using your prime here, bro. Really appreciate that, man. That means the world. Thank you, Victoria, I appreciate that. I don't know if I have a command for it, but if you, let me get you a link. Let me go get a link for you. If you guys are interested in seeing some of the recommendations, I, again, this is all personal preference by the way. So like maybe your recommendation will be different from my recommendation type, type beat, you know what I mean? But here's what I have if you guys want to take a look. This is what I got for you guys. Um, it's a big list of, 
I mean, I try to keep this page updated a lot. Uh, so. I cannot remember the last time I saw a blue PCB. Cool to see one again. Yeah, it looks really pretty on this. I think it's a good choice. The go to keyboard building. Uh, sorry, the go to keyboards building content creation. Thanks. Appreciate you. Where are my V1 goat stabs? Listen, I, I, I didn't feel like massacring the, the OG, you know what I mean? I didn't feel like massacring them, okay? Anyone have any recommendations for mid-range priced keycaps? Uh, Key Kobo is probably my best recommendation, or or wait for sales on GMK. But if you want PBT, uh, I really like the ones personally from Novel Keys, OmniType. Uh, what else? Kinetic Labs lately, I like their stuff as of recent. I think they've they've gotten new manufacturers for their PBT over the last two years or whatever. But they're way better now than they were way back when. Osime, if you kind of want something that's cute. But I think my overall favorite PBT has to be CRP, which I think mechanicalkeyboards.com has. <clears throat> Fossil blue PCB, tar black case. Can this theming get any better? Yeah, this is like the Ice Age, you know? <laughs> uh, couldn't do it justice. Words can only express so much beauty and perfection. Wait, what? Who's beautiful? Who's perfection? I got CRP last night, couldn't resist anymore. CRP's real nice. But boop, redo, boop, beep to the boop. And the beep of the boop had boop to the beep. Would a boop be a, oh God. What's going on? I feel fucking dizzy. I am dizzy right now. Oh, the, the goat V1s. I couldn't massacre them, I'm so sorry guys. Hydrate, got you. I think I have a bit of water left. I don't think I looked at that one there. The 40% board from Monica. Yeah, I don't think I did. Keep staring at a nice PBT Galaxy, a nice PBT Galaxy, but the PBS version and salivating. If I had to pick between the PBS and the PBT, like the PBS looks like an interesting profile. I would try something new, personally, but depends on what you're kind of looking for, obviously. You never know. I tried PBS at a meetup and it's the only uniform profile I, I like instantly liked. I will say that I am also genuinely interested in trying it because I have not yet, so. Public broadcasting station profile sounds interesting. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, it's pretty good. It's quite public, it's quite station. It's crazy comfort. It looks comfortable. JTK also made some really nice sets. I have not seen a JTK set like for sale in like what feels like forever, dude. Got one last stab here. Then I saw a PBS version. I think I'll have to snap one up when it goes live. Yeah, Canon Keys has the new board too, the Cerberus. That looks kind of interesting. I think I, saw, I got an email from them today about that. Looks kind of neat. I think they said it goes up for sale on the 25th or something like that. What's my favorite GMK set? I don't know. I feel like my answer has always changed for that. I think it would have to be the one that has the most like sentimental meaning to me, which is probably Nautilus still. Gregory, of course, bro. I will never say Gregory. There's no way that anyone here can get me to say Greg. 
It's probably Nautilus. Nautilus was my very first set. GMK Darling, right? As nice as Darling is, I don't know if it'd be my favorite. I've been thinking about picking up some GMK Blue Samurai to match my navy blue. That is a classic, classic set. And you know what? I wouldn't blame you if you picked it up. Black Snail is really nice. I think you're not only balling on a budget, but it just it just slaps. Like having a good classic set for your, key, for your keyboards never is a bad decision, dude. Dandy? Dandy's a really nice set. My fave is GMK Analog Dreams and eat MTNU in a fun colorway. Analog Dreams is really nice. That is actually a set I don't have that I'm quite jealous that you have that. PBT Fans Lucy. Which one's that one? Honey Beige is really nice. Classic is really nice. Insane with Wob. I mean, you can't mess with Wob, dude. Wob should be everyone's favorite. Let's just keep it a buck. Let's get this unscrewed. PBT pumpkin spice. Oh, I feel like there's a lot of pumpkin spice themed stuff this season for keyboards. I feel like it's a little a little too many pumpkin spice stuff. Just a smidge too many. I need GMK Ishtar. Oh, that's a nice set too. Ishtar is real nice. Lucy's based. Oh, is it actually? Can you link me a? Can you link me that one there? I want to see it. Cyberpunk was so good. Downloading WoW is just taking so long. Victoria, why are you doing that to yourself? Why are you downloading WoW? Why? Why are you doing that? Hey, listen, Victoria, if you uninstall WoW, I'll uninstall Genshin. <laughs> As someone who has WoW tattoos all over my body, I will say, <laughs> I hate myself, duh. True, to be honest. What do you play as your main? Wait, are you downloading it for the first time or are you, re are you a returning player? Now I'm curious. You should just uninstall Genshin though. <laughs> I know. No doubt. GMK Symbiote. That's a really nice set. Oh, here it is. Let me see this thing. Let me see. What are the novelties like? I really like the novelty set for this. Damn, I really like this set. Uh, we call it Symbiote. Flesh Jello? Huh? I don't like that at all. Bento Revival is way better looking in person. I would, I never would have bought it, but I traded some MT3 sets for it and I love it. Bento Revival. That was the new version of that, right? I don't think I actually gave that a fair look. I'm downloading it for the first time, but I played classic. I don't know what WoW is like now, to be honest with you. Um, but I will say, not joking around, being serious, I had some really good memories in World of Warcraft. Genuinely, one of the better... I like what they did with the plate here. A little off topic. I love that. That is so cool. Uh... I just had a really good time in World of Warcraft when I did play. I don't know how the game is now, though. I would hope it's really good. But I think in more recent years, my favorite thing to do was actually collecting all the pets. I thought that was super, super fun. <clears throat> I gotta say, uninstall Genshin, though. That's crazy. Yeah. I honestly probably should for my sanity. Wow, earned some uh, Alex, wait, earned Alex some resume experience too, was huge for him. Fried, how the fuck do you remember that story, man? I was really hoping you'd forget. That is crazy. Crazy that you remember it. Eh. 
Anal dreams? Oh god. My friends still play Genshin, it's just oof. I don't even know what to say about Genshin. I tried getting into it originally, and I got I got into it, but then it started becoming like very It felt like Maple Story in a lot of ways. Yeah, so I just felt like I couldn't keep up with things. Can't forget anything about my number one fan? Oh my god, dude. Fried, have you been typing on your, uh, your fossil? <laughs> but I'm glad you never forget me, dude. I'm glad. So hyped to hear the second best fossil. <laughs> Damn, it's a competition. It's Winkyless? Oh, you're right. I'll take those out. Good call, Zany. Saves me a, a desoldering trip. I'll think about it later. People dunk on Genshin too hard purely because they hate gacha. I I will say though, as someone who enjoyed the game originally, I think that's still a very valid reason to dislike a video game. You know, I, I personally think that when there's an aspect of a game that requires a big money sink, um, because when I did play Genshin, I was a free-to-play player, but I feel like towards the end, I did spend a few dollars and it made the game a hell of a lot easier. Um, so I do think there, if it's just a gotcha, like if it's like Maple Story to a certain degree, Maple Story still, still says uh, those two times experience coupons. I do think it's a decently fair thing to say like, nah, Gotcha is a big issue. But to your point though, you can still enjoy the game and not participate in the gotcha, but it is part of the game. So I do think it's fair game for criticism there. Yeah. On a positive note, I have heard there's just a lot to do in Genshin right now, which is probably why I decided to download it again. And because we had friends playing it too, so I was going to join in, be silly. But yeah, I guess it's the way you look at it, huh? It truly is. Uh, where is my switch puller? Where did I stick you? Switch puller, here you are. I had fun hanging out, but I'm off to symphony rehearsal. Take care, Neb. <clears throat> Glad to have you here. Uh, you interested in these switches? Hopefully they sound pretty good in this. Honkai Star Whale is way better. I tried playing it, but... Ultimately, it's just a big... Like, the only time sync game I want to play right now is Diablo. Maple Story also illegally messed with loot boxes. For real? Um, I will figure out how I can weave the 175 from TKD into my schedule. I'm gonna confide in you guys and just tell you that I am very overwhelmed for the next two weeks, I think, or three weeks of keyboards. There's just a lot of keyboards to get through. Um, and it wasn't because I overbooked. I just, there's again, a lot of projects that were like, hey, last minute thing, can you get this done? And I think there's a side of me that was just like, la di da, yeah, let's do it. And then everyone's like, this is the two weeks that we want stuff done. And I'm like, ah, I should have asked ahead of time, but I made all these promises. So, well, I went, again, I think one of the things I said yes to is because I kind of wanted to give away a lot of these units because I thought they'd be really fun for December. Remember I told you guys I was trying to gear up for some good December giveaways? Well, I said yes to a lot because I also want to give away all these things. So we're in for a, we're in for a treat the next few weeks. <clears throat> I made like 200 mil sales from it. Oh God. My birthday is Christmas Eve. Just letting you know. Yeah, I'm hoping we can do like 20, 
25 giveaways for Christmas. We'll do like a big lead up to Christmas with something awesome. Giving away client builds. Yeah, the next board for, for or not for rather, this is first build today. The next board that uh, Fried drops off, we'll give away. Cause I'm his number one fan. And I think it's just too amazing. <laughs> I'll give it away. <laughs> a board a day? Yeah, I mean, December is gonna be really big. December is gonna be like probably the biggest giveaway we've ever run here. I'm hoping at the very least. So is Keep Miss happening this year? Maybe you could be a part of it. Oh. I don't know if that will mesh well with what I'm doing. I don't know. Are you giving away the Pangea? No, I had to send back the Pangea. Bro, Alex, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Uh, I don't know about doing another build with those Canadian duties. Oh, dude, I don't blame you. I I seriously don't blame you, Fried. You were one of the... I'm a, Fried, you were unfortunately one of the unlucky ones and got hit with the biggest duty I've seen in a little while. Uh, but yeah, sometimes it does happen. There's not much we can really do. Because I'll... I, have, I actually have only paid like two other duties for clients in the last like month. Everything else has just gone through no problems. So duties, I know. If KBD fans Pluto had a Pluto, oh my God, dude, Boba. This is giving me a headache. Oh, hello there, Alex Ot Shifty Eyes. Hopefully it don't you has been representing our household well in chat since I've been working myself to the bone. Heart <laughs> vibes are immaculate tonight. Nurse Paige, hello, nice to see you again. Uh, Katie's been awesome, bro. How or how have you been? How are, How is work? You said working to the bone? I hope it hasn't really been that bad. How have you been though? Good, good, I'm taking a month off. God, if you've been working yourself that hard, 100% take that month off. Any fun plans for the month? Or is it just gonna be like resting at home? I know my ass would just rest at home. What's the biggest duty I've ever seen? Oh, like 350. It was dumb. 350 was the biggest one. Luckily, I got some of it reduced, but uh, 350 was, I'll tell you guys, long story short, UPS is scammers. Uh, and they will give you any sort of reason why they need to charge you money. This is why I strongly recommend everyone just shipping USPS because sometimes it can be hard, like higher with USPS, but they do it fairly at least. Like it's based off of what you send. Sometimes UPS will just be like, storage fee. Or UPS will be like, huh. brokerage times two. Or UPS will be like, because I had to put some extra tape on the package. Or UPS will be like, the driver got a flat tire. Or UPS will be like, we're not even gonna ask you if you wanna pay this. Just pay it, damn it. So, I don't know, fuck UPS. Insane UPS impressions, 10 out of 10. Uh, the reasoning for the $350 bill and the reason I got so upset with UPS that day, that was the first day I started hating them as, as, uh, as I guess dedicated I am to disliking UPS now. They told me it's because they had to store the keyboard for a week or store the package. And there's, there's no reason why they need to store it, by the way. But they stored it for like a week and it was a storage fee. And it was like $170 for that, mixed in with all the other fees, right? So I called them and I'm like, what the fuck is a storage fee? And the guy's like, oh, well, have you ever put something away like on a shelf? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, we did that. And that cost it man hours to do. <laughs> and it, I was like, bro, what the fuck? I've never seen a storage fee. And the guy's like, hear me out. When we were ready to ship it to you, we had to take it off the shelf. 
And then, yeah, I, I lost my temper and then I got it reversed. So that's what happened. Oh shit, crazy, right? <laughs> Shoving a sock down his throat would have been, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> there's business, uh, there's a delivery business, not storage. Yeah, to this day, I still don't understand how that, this never happened again, thankfully, but it was the one time and I remember the client was like, what the fuck is happening? And I'm like, I don't even know. So we figured it out. We fucked up fee. <laughs> But yeah, when people ship via USPS, it's a lot better. And also, Nurse Page, I, I saw that you're going to do some self-care this month. That is amazing. We all need that every every now and then. So good on you for taking some, some time off. I hope it's the least stressful month you ever have to worry about. What if you start charging UPS for ridiculous stuff? Did I tell you what I told the last guy? So if anyone watches, they know that I have a lot of problems with UPS. Oh, well, before I moved, UPS sent me like um, four or five invoices for random things. So what UPS does is they'll drop stuff off to me. They'll, they'll go, here you go, Alex. Here, they'll go like, here you go, Alex. And I'll go, oh, wait, fuck. Oh, th thank you, I'll take this. And then UPS will be like, hey, Alex, so, Four months passed by, and remember that thing we gave to you? Well, you owe $70, and we sent it to you via snail mail, and UPS will be like, and so we sent it to you via snail mail, and because it take, took so long to get to you via snail mail, you're late on paying it. And I'm like, fuck, man. <laughs> okay. And then they're like, yeah, so you owe us some money. And you owe us interest. So I got like four of those before I moved. And then it happened once here too. But uh, I had called them. And I basically was like, I was upset. Like, I was like, this is, this is incredible. This is like highway robbery, dude. I didn't even agree to pay these fees. So on the most recent time this happened, when I called... I was so frustrated because they just don't get that like, should, if you, if you go here, here, like, let's just pick some, pick someone in chat. We're like, here, Rufus, I'm giving you these. And Rufus is like, sweet. What do I owe? Nothing. And you give it to Rufus and then Rufus takes it. And then you're, and then you're like, ah, now that you've taken it, you owe me $20. That's what they do. And I'm like, that's kind of scammy, dude. Like, that's kind of like fucked up. And I tried to explain to the guy. I'm like, so then technically I could, you know, if, if you live in Canada, because our minimum import fee is $20 here. If I really want to be an asshole, I could literally label a package for $5,000. I could put one single switch in a box and say, this is $5,000 and then ship it to you. And then you'll have to pay duties no matter what you do. Like, there's no accepting it, right? And the guy's like, no, we don't do that. I'm like, bro, that's why I'm calling in. And he's like, nah, it's different. I'm like, no, man, it's the same thing. But yeah, the, the, the UPS is just fucking wild, bro. I can't deal with them. They're They're terrible. Can I have some crazy fees? I'll take the bullet. I'll ask Rufus for the $20. Hey, yo. <laughs> nah, different, dude. Canada Post has been super solid. I think DHL is still amazing. Everything is like automated with them. It's, it's amazing, dude. UPS is like dinosaurs compared to what DHL has built. He's just clipped in so nicely to this PCB. I love it. <laughs> Only send via UPS. <clears throat> Have you ever shipped to Australia? I'm assuming it'll be um, price, uh, is XE pricey. Maybe duty fees will be high. I've shipped tons of times to Australia and 
I would say shipping is like, yeah, it's, it's a little higher. But, uh, no, nah, Australia is actually not too bad. The worst I've seen for Canada Post is like really remote parts of Europe. I mean, again, this is based off just what I've shipped to. Really remote parts of Europe suck with Canada Post. I feel like you kind of have to go with courier services there. Like that gets super expensive. And then in second place for most expensive, not the major areas of India, but like I have some clients who live in India. I've heard in India, it is awful for import fees and stuff, but some places of India can get pretty expensive. Uh, but I would say Europe is 100% worst. And then they, they have a different import fee system too. I mean, I've shipped everywhere, I think, for the most part. It is dog shit crazy, Alex. I'm a logistics manager, dude. I can say 100% that shipping industry is uh, egre egregiously inefficient. On that note, there is a lot of moving pieces that and can say that UPS is actually one of the best shippers. They are unionized and actually take care of their employees. Being in that field, you wanna know how they take care of their employees? That's because they just scammed me $350. And then they split it up. <laughs> Dude, that's how, they, that's how they take care of them, bro. <laughs> they just scammed me. No, no, I, I've heard that UPS is actually really good for working for, but regardless of that, they still treat me like shit as their customer. <laughs> Uh, DHL is amazing from my perspective. It, it has been absolutely amazing with, uh, for me, but I mean, I hate, I hate that you've had a bad experience with them. That sucks, Sergeant. Um, no, these, dude, these, I checked before stream. They were so nice. And even this, these ones here for, like they all feel so consistent. I don't know, is this a newer batch of anything for? But they feel super, super nice. Yeah, because I, I honestly, like you would put, I think you would put in your build request that these were lube. And then, I'm not gonna lie, I, I kind of always double check before stream because I've had it happen one time where someone said it was lubed and it wasn't. So I've been double checking recently. But no, these felt great. Do you want your space bar mill maxed for? Would you prefer that? That way there in case we want to switch. I'm totally down to do that. Same thing with Adobe, great to work for, awful company to business with, yeah. Sure, let's do it, dude. By the way, guys, if anyone ever does commissions with me, if you want your space bar mill max, just let me know, I don't charge anything for it. Were the housing a little large for you? No, the housings are fine. You can definitely tell it's still HMX though. They don't sit super great with the PCB, so we'll have to solder in some corners here. You know? <clears throat> it's mostly just the legs. Let's get these in. Uh, by the way, just got my Zoom 75 today, getting ready to, to get that built after wifey comes home and take over the baby duties. Ooh, what are you building with? I gotta know. I'm always nosy that way. I gotta know what everyone's building with. Okay, let's start soldering. Loving HMX, totally not biased <clears throat> against how pretty they are though. I mean, to be fair, I also really enjoy HMX switches. I think HMX and SWK though, like they have this very similar thing going on where a lot of the switches do have very similar sound profiles. I think HMX does have more variation than um, SWK, but God, that is a pretty looking PCB, huh? Can we just appreciate that? That is super pretty. Damn. Do you know if your Neo 75 is copper or brass bottom? I'm pretty positive it's copper, but I'm not too sure now. You guys have me questioning myself. Um, I mean, I asked for copper, so 
I think they said just the PCB was sending to me based off availability, but I mean, it could be the whole build based off availability as well. Oh, shoot. I think this hoodie is from a brand called Dark Sport. It was like a Marvel collab they did. Um, I'm pretty positive. I think it says on the back. Actually, you can't see, it just says Marvel. I think it's Dark Sport. It, it's like, um, it's a brand that does like weightlifting clothes, believe it or not. This just happened to be something they were selling and I just said, fuck it. What's the art on the front? The Wolverine. Actually here, I don't know. Does it say on the back what it's from? Does it... I can't read it, obviously it's behind me, but. Dark Sport X Marvel reselling for 150 on eBay. I think, I don't think that's much cheaper than what it sold for or much more expensive than what it sold for. Love Dark Sport. Yeah, I have two Dark Sport things. Their clothing feels rather generic, but I liked these designs. I don't think I would ever shop from them again for their everyday stuff, but. The board I'm currently using is a Key Cult number one TKL. It's the one that Novel Keys will be selling very soon. Do you happen to know what switches were in the Command 65? Uh, I don't really remember. You might have to check the VOD for that one there. I don't really recall. I'm gonna go now, very chill and enjoyable stream. Take care, Nick. Love seeing you here, bro. Have a great day yourself. Have an amazing, amazing day, dude. All right, time to solder. And I guess that's all I need. Actually, let me do something before we start here. Move some stuff over. Were you, uh, if you were to pick caps for the green key cult, what would you pick? Congrats again, by the way, extra. That is big news. Oh. Uh... I think I would be boring and go with something like Jim K. Wasabi. I think that would be my, my, my choice. I thought I could sneak the, the question in. Sly? Hell no, dude. I was there. Is that a vacuum? Um, this, it's a smoke absorber. So yeah, it gets rid of all the toxic, uh, well, it gets rid of the flux fumes, basically. It'll absorb all those. Not jealous or anything, I promise. Extra for sure, congrats. Dude, Extra, I saw that and I was like, damn, I am so happy that Extra won that. So, so happy, dude. So I'm just making sure everything's sitting nice and flush here. Um, right now I have it set to 340. Typically I run 330, but lately my soldering iron has just been not as efficient as it once was. So 340 currently. The GB on the LX60. Here, you know what? I have the answer for you, Wait Till Lucky. I just never sent you the answer. Because I, I just asked to double check. And I think they messaged. Well, I think I got an answer back for you. Uh, October 28th. And then NK Key Cults, I don't have a date for you guys, but the moment they are ready to go. We will let you guys know hopefully about a week ahead of time for NK Key Cults, okay? I hope. I hope that's the time frame I can give you guys. I'd hate to give you guys last minute news on that. 
start here, we solder in our corners. No, NK key cults are in stock. Key cult 1016 announced today? Well, Mike then announced it. Guys, I have been uh, dealing with other little things today. Did Mike announce it today? Did he not? Did he announce it on product news? Never mind. October 16th. There you guys go. Um, 496 total. I think it's because we had to use four of them. There's 500 originally, but there was four of them sent out to do content with. Yeah, I have been dealing with some behind the scenes stuff for other things. So my, my attention's been uh, diverted to other places today. Uh, in the office hour stream. Did I just miss that part of the stream? I was there the entire time. It's officially hockey season, so I got you on the left screen and the game on the right. Let's go, dude. Shame to get paid on the 17th. I... Listen, I don't want to be like that guy, but I don't think they're going to sell out instantly. 400... 400 plus in stock units is a lot. If they, dude, I will, I don't even know what I'm gonna do, but if they sell it instantly, I will eat my words, I guess. I don't think it will. Obviously it's great if they do, and that just means that there's a lot of interest in them, but. Um, no, 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 the 60% one that you're asking for Alright, wait, which one are you talking about, Victoria? Refresh my memory if you don't mind. I'm so sorry. Them spendy boards? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you can order internationally. Um. You know what? I don't see why you can't. But let me let me message Mike quick. Let me let me ask. Let me double check. Let me triple check because I don't want to give you the wrong answer. <clears throat> Mike said yes, definitely. By chance, the Gritty Keys give you an estimate on when they'll be sending the Neo 75 your way? Oh yeah, I mean, we're, we're building it Friday. There's been a lot of schedule changes, so we're building it Friday. Uh, is your mic that you're using mounted on your camera or a separate boom arm? So to save space, I just mounted it on my top mount camera, but that's mounted to the wall. So it technically is isolated away from the entire desk. So excited for the Neo 75. It does look really good. Can't deny it out of what it looks like because it, it does look pretty nice. It's a bit of a shame. Foam, foam, yes, foam. What's happening? What's foamy? Uh, no, no, Neo 75 is happening Friday. I, I think we're just doing it at 7 p.m. Eastern on Friday. This, it's this Friday, by the way, guys. Ow. Splattered back in there.
any time tiramisu. So Key Cult TKL for me, Pangea for the BF. It sounds like gonna be a spendy month. Which Key Cult TKL color are you getting, Nev? Oh, um, in case you guys are interested, Mike just said to me it'll have free international shipping. So the, the Key Cult, since it's above their threshold, you just have to pay for duties and import stuff. If that's interesting to you, I don't know. Just thought I'd relay the info. Pretty nice. What's your record speed for soldering a board? Uh, depends. Honestly, I don't really time myself. Maybe 15 minutes, maybe less. Not gonna lie, the best part about the Neos is that they're continually in stock, so there's no FOMO. Uh, I personally don't think there's many products selling on FOMO these days. <laughs> I think there's so many in-stock units of things that it's very difficult to say stuff's been sold on FOMO. I, I, I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but... What kind of monitor am I using? I am actually using... Oh, actually, there's a piece of dust here. Let me clean that. Um, I'm using the... Um, studio monitor from Apple. It's because it's glossy, man. That's why you guys think it looks really good. Q Fujifilm X100V. Oh, dude, that has actually sold on FOMO. There's like a whole Fuji flipping community now. It's crazy to me to see that. I've been a fan of their cute case customer service. It's been nice to be able to get parts and fast support after launch. Yeah, I mean, dude, support is half the battle when it comes to being a vendor. It truly is. The Alex Envoy sold it in like an hour. I was still blown away by that because I thought it ended up happening with the Sonnet because I was like, okay, people already have Envoys. It doesn't make sense it's going to sell out. And we only did a limited batch because I didn't want to, I didn't want to like, you know, tell them to invest so much money into something like that. But it was crazy seeing that. Still grateful. But I think limited edition colors are, I don't know. Is it really FOMO? You can still buy the base product. That's just, you're choosing a color at that point. I picked up an XT5 and it's great, but can't pick up the 27mm lens. It's sold out. God damn. Dude, I heard the XT50s people are going nuts for right now. Thank you, Idiom. I appreciate that. You should build this fossil with foam? I don't think Fur would like that. I think Fur would kill me. Fur, what keycap set should I use today for this? That's a shame. XT50 has been pretty fun. Yeah. I really want to get my XT4 repaired. I love me some full-size keyboards, man. I don't know how people hate them, but they're so cool. I love them too. Don't get me wrong, 60s are still my vibe every single day, but goddamn, full-size boards are sick. And when you can do a full size nice, it just makes it that much better. Got you with that Hydra right now. Um, I don't think there's a stigma with foam. Well, okay, there might be for some people, Victoria. But um, I think a lot of people see foam as a negative thing. I don't see foam as a negative thing. I just see foam as a modification tool but I think what I when I you know like if I'm being honest my first thought when I think of foam is just foam in every crevice of the keyboard so my solder splashing no my solder's nice today I think it's only splashing here and there it's when I feed the solder in too fast
I think it is. Yeah. No, we're good. There's like no solder splatter at all. One little piece here. You know, if I use 330, I don't know. The, the, the solder doesn't flow nice after that. Uh, not necessarily a stigma, but I will say you should keep an open mind and see if you like boards without foam or a smaller amount. Yeah, I mean, I still have foam in a few of my favorite boards, like my OG Thermal that I have. I put foam in because I really like the sound of it in that. Um, I still use foam as like a modification for boards that are a bit too hollow. I think the des the best design practice, okay, not... Let me put this very elegantly. I think if you want the keyboard that's going to get the most people, you know, interested is if it's designed well around no foam and then also sounds foamy with foam. Like, you get best of both worlds. You can build up whoever you want. Uh, I think that's the best design practice. And I think there was a bit of a time period, and maybe this is kind of where that, like, you know, joke comes in. There was a bit of a time where people only were designing around foam, right? I think now that that time has kind of come and gone, people still joke around about foamy keyboards and stuff. But it's very much a preference. Uh, but you can't make a board sound like the rain without foam, can you? No, you can't. You are very right, Dreamy. You need foam for that. If you want that kind of dreamy, marbly sound, yeah, you definitely need foam. Challenge accepted? Go for it, dude. My old soldering iron broke, so right now I'm using a Pinesel, which is okay, but man, it's not a JBC. Might have to get a JBC or a Hakko. My Hakko is aging a little bit right now. I would love to get a JBC iron, but God, some of those kits I want are expensive. They are indeed pricey. Why do I have it on this thing for you guys? I'm so sorry. Malvix, since you're tracking, hell yeah, dude. Are we looking good? Is it, is it set to arrive this week? actually been looking at soldering um, pencils. There's some good ones. The Pinesel, I think, is like a community favorite right now. You should try Neo 65 with KD 200 switches, 100 gram springs, and full foam. I'm fine with doing everything else you said, but why 100 gram springs? Oh my god. Like, why'd you have to throw that into the mix? Why not? That's crazy, dude. My fingers hurt just at the mention. Yeah, I'm tired, Grandpa. My fingers are done. Finger six pack. Alex shows up with all his fingers in splints. Dude, for real. All right, two more rows of soldering things here. And we can decide on some keycaps. I don't know what we're going to put today. I, I, you know, part of me wants to do another stealthy build, but I am not sure. Uh, 100 gram springs isn't too bad. Wait until you try some of the, the heavy domes. I swear 60 gram rubber domes are heavier than 100 gram springs. Oh, really? It doesn't, like, transfer one-to-one -one there? That's crazy. P 
Polybius? Ooh, Polybius does sound nice. I don't have a... Do I have that one there? No? Man, it's so nice to see some, some old faces here in chat again. Love you guys. This is truly an amazing community we built, guys. Feels like a little family. I fucking love it. Uh, one kilogram springs for Osu? God damn. <clears throat> Amen. Uh, if we're a family, can I be the uncle who comes over, eats all the food, and falls in the sl sleep on the couch? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, I meant to clean this, not put it back. Old pe people meeting, I guess. Huh? Uh, Victoria, the new faces here have been amazing, too. I just got cold. I got called old, though. That's crazy. Can I be the uncle that drinks five quarters lights at 10 a.m.? No, that's my job. Please. Give me that. Um, you're making my sick days so much better. Anytime, Boney. I've been living in the same hoodie for three days. Damn, dude. Get better soon, bro. Drinking with you? Hell yeah, Zany. OC62? Which one's that one there again? I feel like you mentioned that and I don't remember now. OC62. Why does it sound so familiar? I know you've mentioned something like that. Can I be the one that gets to the, the gathering two hours late? God, that's my biggest pet peeve. No, dude, I've seen the JBC soldering irons, the stations, and I really want one, but they do be crazy expensive. That is something that's like a one-day cost type thing. Oh, Bull mentioned something like that to me. But I haven't taken a good, good, good look at it. Is, it, is there renders or something available for it? I love Bull's work. It's It's been fantastic, so. All right, this is done. Let's get this all installed now. Little gasket. How do I make my Wooting 60 HE sound better? Now, I don't have much experience modding those. You may have to play around with some foam. I don't know if there's like better switches that you can use that'll sound better for that particular type of board. Um, but I think foam would be your best answer. Uh, maybe try something like a tape mod. Maybe try something like, actually I don't have, maybe try case swapping. Maybe that'll help too. But HE boards are not really my forte. So I don't have a huge amount of, uh, I guess, knowledge at the end of the day when it comes to those. Gion Raptor stems and Lecker housings, O-ring and tofu redo. Yeah, you might have to, I think the, maybe the case swap is going to be a big one there. Let's do this. HE switches struggle with sound. I've heard they kind of struggle in the sound department. I have heard. Finally finished downloading. Dude, Victoria, enjoy. Wow. Remember to drink some water and hydrate. Wow has an effect on me too. <sighs> All right, so this is installed. Honestly, once my arc comes in, I don't know if my wooding will mean anything anymore. Oh, oh damn. Okay, okay. I hear ya. I have used 1,000 
Oh, sorry, 1,000. 100 gram springs daily for one month now. I can't use any lighter. So, I have a question for you. I'm going to interview you now. Okay, MC? What made you want to go for 100 gram springs in the first place? Genuinely curious. Sorry, I don't have the right commands, Boba. Like, what was the decision there? What was that process like? <laughs> yeah, it, it is pretty crazy when you really think about it. It is a pretty crazy choice to go for 100 gram springs. God, sometimes I suck at putting cables in. I wanted to try. You have a dedication that I admire. That is a crazy, crazy dedication you have. <laughs> I don't have a camera at the moment. How can you take good photos of tall buildings? Like close up, but what are the best shots? I mean, I don't know, Zaini. I don't. Maybe I don't exactly know what you mean by that. Hear me out, we start a GoFundMe or something similar to get Alex at JBC soldering station for Christmas. He gives away so many boards, it's time to give her to receive a gift. No, 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 don't do that. I can't accept nothing. I can't do that. I wanna give you guys things, please. Let's see, I am getting a smidge of a headache today. I've never found 100 gram springs too far out from 50 gram. What? Hold on, let me reread that back. I've never found 100 gram springs too far out from 50. Hold on one second, dude. I, I normally type at 55. Okay, 56, 55. I typed on a 65 the other day and I was like, damn, my fingers are tired. They feel awfully similar. Okay, I know you're trolling me right now, dude. I know you're trolling me right now, dude. You're baiting something out of me right now. <laughs> Posture check? Okay, got you. <laughs> I smell cap. Uh, I know that's a, that's a fucking cap, dude. If that's a flex, it's gonna result in stiff fingers. God damn. Baiting your pants? What the? Once you get the gamer hunch, no spring weight matters. Fuck, bro, I'm self-conscious. I, I gotta work on my, my little posture thing going on here. <sighs> gotta, gotta, we gotta sit up straight, everybody. Look at this, look at the difference. Pen pop, give me one second. Shrimp jack, I am shrimping it like crazy today with my back. It's crazy, dude. When you type with your entire arm? Oh God. Yeah, when you're putting your body weight into it, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Are there different fossil designs for this keyboard? Yeah, there's two. There is the, I think we said this is a brontosaurus and then the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Super cool. Love both of these designs, by the way. The best thing for posture is deadlifting. Uh, I'm not really a gym guy, though. There you guys go. And with that, the stream. The Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus. Did I say that? No way I did. I type on 62 gram, maybe that's why my fingers are so stiff. Um, I don't think it's cause of 62. I think, well, maybe they, they could be a number of reasons. Maybe you're typing a lot during the day and it's just some like regular soreness. All right. Now, how do these switches look? Very cool. Very, very cool looking. HMX Gravel. My setup sounds so creamy, the Neo 65. What switches you got in that? 
very nice. All right, I guess I need to decide on keycaps for the day. Um, Polybius does sound pretty fun. Like I haven't used that set in a while, but let me switch camera views here. I don't know, do we want Polybius? Wob? Sending one more time because Alex said to repeat Miss Chats. Alex, my son rode his bike without training wheels for the first time tonight? Dude, that's fucking awesome, bro. That is fucking awesome. Hell yeah, Lego. And did I say Tyrannosaurus? I did not say Tyrannosaurus. I said Tyrannosaurus. Did I not? Did I say Tyranna? Tyrannosaurus? Fucking whatever. I give up. I lose this battle no matter what I do. Ultimately, I can't win. Is going to be a track star? No lie, I really love my Neo 55, but I feel like it says there's such a distinct sound signature that you can't really deviate from no matter what the config. I can agree with that. I do think it has a very specific sound to it as well. Hmm. Let me just inspect what keycaps we got. Low key, I... I don't, do I have the numpad for Boneyard though? Did Boneyard come with a numpad? Boneyard seems like a fun one for today too because of the whole theme. You know what I mean? Boneyard has the bones of a dinosaur. I don't know. This board is screaming for Greg. What the? I mean, we could do Polybius. I'm down to do Polybius. Polybius or Boneyard? What do you guys want to do here? Polybius? All right. You know what? I'll just base it off the first thing I see. Can you tell this board is B-Stock? Is it because the weight has some patina? Is that why they called it B-stock? Is it because the coating on the bottom is a little bit different than the... Actually, not even really. It's just different reflectivity right now, but... Drop it to make it be... <laughs> Did you want me to make it B-stock? <laughs> you know, let's just leave this up to Fur. Fur, what do you want? Boneyard or Polybius? Maybe the coating on the bottom is what I'm thinking, you know? Because it's a little bit more reflective than the top coating? I don't know. Miklon? Hmm. Say Gregory. You guys know the rules with Greg, okay? It's on a ban right now because I did voluntarily use it. It's, it's on a ban or someone has to donate 50 subs and be like, Gregory's on today's build no matter what. Pal? Like Polybius? Which one's Pal? I think we do Polybius, right? Is it Polybius we want? Don't tempt me. Or maybe we do Deep Field. I still, you know, I'm not lying, guys. I don't remember what board I put Deep Field on. So it's on a board. It's here. I know that because I saw it. But I think I put it in storage and I just don't know what board it's on. Pal Yard. <laughs> Fuck. Kikobo. We could do Kikobo if you guys want. I don't know. I'm leaving this up to Fur. Fur can pick. The key machine one? We could do the key machine one. Rewind could look nice on this. I'm waiting for Fur to give us the answer. Thank you, Boney. Appreciate the tier one sub. I really do. Boney Yaitona, you gifted a tier thank one you, sub to you. the Orduck. Polybius then? Is Polybius still what we're doing? Fuck it, let's just do Polybius. 
Well, which, which one's PAL? Fur? Jin K PAL. Is there a PAL set? Which one Pal is? Pelip. <laughs> Let's do Polybius. Oh shit, I never remember how Polybius works. Fuck it, I'm picking anything for this. Just abbreviating? No, you're good, bro. You're good. Is it Polybius or Polybius? It's Polybius, right? No, I think I'm mispronouncing it. Holy beast. Okay, I am mispronouncing it then. Pull it. I think I say polybius, right? Gaslight Alex? God. <laughs> what did I do wrong? For as much as we use Polybius, maybe second time I've seen the arrow keys. I don't know if I love the arrow keys of Polybius. I agree with you. I would have just brought it regular schmegular ones, but I mean, it is what it is. It's still a very pretty looking set. Fossil has so many stabs. Well, yours didn't. If you guys didn't know, Fried built a fossil and it had two stabs. <laughs> It's all the stabs he put on his fossil. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, Nev. They should have been... They really should have been... Uh, what's it called? Um, oh my god, I cannot even think of the word here. They should have been novelties, 110%. <sighs> Sorry, everybody. I had a little yawn skis. I think my coffee, the, the high of the coffee just wore off, so. Fortnite date. I'm gonna be real with you. I think for the next two weeks, I may be a little bit preoccupied with getting stuff prepped for stream, but I can promise you after those two weeks are done, we are playing a game of Fortnite, Lego. Um, do you have any recommendations about macro pads? Uh, I don't even know what's available for macro pads recently. Um, I can already tell this is gonna sound good. I don't really use a whole hell of a lot of them these days, so. Morphine's starting to wear off, so my leg's in pain. At least I got you. Appreciate you. Feel better. Uh, what happened? What did, what did I? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I didn't do commands. I've been, I'm a bad streamer, guys. I have not done commands in like two days. I've just been more focused on getting stuff ready for a stream than doing the commands and I apologize. My bad. Oh no, I think this is shift. It's the thing about Polybius I never understand is where anything goes. Um, do you think it's necessary to reloop every switch once in a while? Dude, I have never relooped a single switch in my entire life. Um, I've been doing keyboards, Leo, for about f four or five years now. Um, longer off stream, just on stream doing boards. And I think even some of my original keyboards that I still use to this day have never been relooped. Mind you, I don't put in as much time per keyboard maybe compared to others like being realistic but i don't think i've ever felt the need or felt compelled to do that i hear we should relube every 10 to 15 years there i mean so that's the thing right there is a i think there is a technical shelf life to crytox and i think it is about 15 to 20 years or something like that so i don't know 
I have not been doing keyboards that long. I don't know if you should do it in 10 to 15 years. Let's put that there. But the technicality is yes, there is shelf life to it. Every 10 to 15 minutes, oh God. Oh goodness me. Well, the seven does not go here. I put the seven in the wrong spot. It is an interesting question though, when you really think about it, you know? Will you eventually have to relube every single thing you've done? And the answer is, I don't know. That is the truth. I have no idea. New challenge, every 10 subs you relube all your switches. No, thank you, dude. That is pain. I am good. I am a-okay. Check the link for reference. Oh, am I doing this all wrong? Dude, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna go with the flow on this one, Zany. I appreciate it though, man. There is oh. one of 10 subs towards the relubing challenge. Guys, I never made this an official thing. I don't wanna do that. Please. Please. You don't have to make an official thing. Thank you so much for the sub though. I appreciate that candy. Thank you, thank you. Ten thousand subs. God damn, dude. Nev, no, I didn't no please. Please. Guys. <laughs> I never made this an official thing. Time to re-lube? No, 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 please. I'm begging you. Let's not make this a thing. Thank you, Nev, I appreciate Okay, okay, don't worry about it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God damn. The people want what they want? Oh gosh. Now I'm fucking nervous. Hey, maybe one day we'll do something like that. <laughs> Thank you again, Nev. And that's how gifted a tier one sub to your man, the Nero. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, Anat. Thank you very much. Wait, guys, it would. Hold on. It's not a thing. Thank you, Gurren. I appreciate the 10 tier ones. More, it looks like more people want to re-lube. That's re-lube twice now. Oh my God. Bless your face. The people want Gregory? No, 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 no. Let me explain Gregory. There was a specific rule with Gregory, okay? Gregory isn't the accumulation of 50 subs. It's if someone really wants Gregory, it's 50 all at one time. That's always been the rule. It's 50 at one time. Not the accumulation. Or I would have had to do Gregory every single day of the subathon. That would have been the worst. That's not, no, no, it's always been the rule. <laughs> it's always been the rule, dude. You can't change the rules now? Hey, where's Chozo? Chozo's actually not even gonna take my side though. That's the fucked up part. Even though I know that's the rule, gaslighting, Chozo would never take my side. He would just literally take your guys' side. That's the craziest part about all this. I know Chozo. He would just laugh. He put I know what emoji he would use. And then he would laugh and then be like, what do you mean, Alex? It was like two subs. Doesn't Chozo do the commands anymore? Mr. Chozo has been very busy with life. And I am 
A, super happy for him that he's been super busy. And uh, B, also sad that he can't be here every day with us, but he is doing a lot of different things. He is super active in the Discord still, but um, he has stuff going on, you know? He has stuff. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud of him. Oh, you know what? Let's use scooped. Burn, this stream will be titled Chat brings Keeb Enthusiast to his knees with subs, huh? Yeah, probably in a bad way though. This is gonna be like in one of those like I'm begging you for mercy type ways. Thanks for pointing out idiom. I would have not noticed. What is your keyboard of the year for 2024? Ooh, keyboard of the year. Hmm. Keyboard of the year. What would I say the keyboard of the year is? Hmm. These are caps lock. Keyboard of the year, the Pangea. I think the board that is, uh, fuck, I feel like there's a lot of good options for this. I don't know. I would have to really think about what I, what I would pick. Okay, I think there's a difference between what I think is a really good keyboard that came out this year, and then I think there's there's also a different side of this where it's like, okay, what about a keyboard that is just really good for a different for many different reasons? Like I think there's a lot of ways you can think about this. I don't know. Do I have a keyboard I would say is keyboard of the year? I am not sure. Um I'd have to really think about that. Mm. Dude, if there is something, okay, let me break it into two categories, right? Because I think with, you know, fuck, I feel like this is kind of a cop out though and I apologize. I think what I'm thinking of like, which keyboard's really easy for me to recommend that I know a lot of people really like, um, that I think a lot of people will enjoy. Uh, see, yeah, there's a lot of subjectivity with this too, right? I think for me, a very easy recommend that is really weird that I'm recommending it to a lot of people, but everyone I've recommended it to who's been interested in that category of keyboards, because I think this is also gonna be a category thing, has been the Neo Ergo. The Neo Ergo is probably one of the better buys you can make. Sounds amazing, has some great stuff inside of it. You know, it was well thought of. Um, I think that might be, to this day, keyboard of the year. But I think if I had to pick something that I type on every single day that I'm like, you know what, this keyboard's insane, I love it, it's sick. Um, see, that's a toughie too because I feel like I'm, I'm gonna be biased. Like they're, they're, I think the keyboard that I enjoy building and using and I like looking at and inspires me, it might be the Encore. Like the Encore might hold that victory in my mind, but I feel like there's been so many good releases and I feel like it's unfair. Like I, I feel guilty saying just one keyboard, but I don't know, maybe we can actually have some fun with this and make keyboard awards or something, but do it in like a lighthearted way. Oh, that's not where that goes.
because I did a long time ago, I did um, keyboard of the year things. I felt weird doing it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I felt very strange doing keyboard of the year stuff, but I, I'd be down to give like that a second go. I, I would be down. I'd be up to trying, maybe doing that again. I just know people are gonna get their feelings hurt. Drifting, the Clara was really good. I'm building another Clara soon, Drifting. I'm building one on the 18th, I think. Put Mr. G off's thing here again. Little G off artisan. Keyboard of the year. <laughs> Uh, keyboard of the century, Rama. Hyper Blowfish gifted a tier one sub to Lowly Henchman. Thank you, they Hyper. Have given Appreciate you, dude. Subs in the channel. Also, Hyper Burn Gurnal from earlier. Gurnal, love you, dude. Nev, love you as well. Candy from earlier. Nurse, uh, Fock, Tire. Thank you guys so so much. <laughs> keyboard of the year is gonna be. Now I think uh, keyboard of the keyboard of the century. Keyboard of the century, Rukia round two, widowly, Margo. Nah, Margo's not winning that. Encore's top three for sure. I don't know what keyboard of the year would be though. Like, I think it'd have to be for me, like the easiest recommend would be the, the Envoy, or not the Envoy, the Ergo still. I think the Ergo still wins for me at, at, at this current given time. But who knows, the year's not done yet. All right, let's give it a sound demo here, shall we, guys? HMX gravel switches, aluminum plate, the Fossil F13 with some GMK keycaps. The space is loud. Hmm, I, if I'm being honest, I sort of feel like I want to tone down this space bar a little bit, but obviously that's up to fur. It sounds, the Yalpa sound really good on this. I really like the numpad. I think that overall sounds really good. Okay, I want to change this out to something and I hope Fur doesn't mind. I think Fur gave me the okay. I think, see, this is why I love doing Milmax on just the space bar. I think this is like the ultimate thing you can do to quickly swap how the whole board sounds. I think that sounds more in line with what I want personally from the alphas contrasting against the space bar. Yeah, I think that hits. Cause this is a bit brighter and it almost has a little bit more of a, not thinness to it, but almost kind of like a plasticky sound, which is not a bad thing by the way. This has a bit more of that, that bassy depth that I think contrasts nicely with the alphas. Because the alphas are already there, you know what I mean? <laughs> if for, for, I'm so sorry. They're not, they're not letting, they're not letting you take the, the king crown of the, the fossils. For which one do you prefer? I, obviously, I'm just going to give you all of these things to play around with, but back reveal? I like this back. I think this might be my preferred back of the fossil. The, the Toronto Rex is cool. 
it's all right. I'm sorry, Fur. They're not giving it to you. Which one do you like, Fur? Do you like the um, Obscura or HMX Switch? It's the Tronosaurus Rex now, okay? <laughs> I have a ton of switches I can try. Good to leave in the yellow. Cool, I'm just gonna, well, I'm gonna give you this back anyways. I'll leave the Obscura, you can play around with that too. Yeah, I, I, I'm i happy we mill max the space bar for you here. No, dude, this sounds fantastic. These HMX gravel switches are quite nice. I was a little worried. I thought maybe the HMX switches would have been a little bit thin on the, pla or not the plastic, the aluminum. I think they hit just right. I think it sounds... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they're called gravel switches and they're green. I have no idea. That makes no sense to me either, but I mean, that's what they're called, so. I don't know, I didn't name them. <laughs> I don't know why. It's weird, to, I don't get it either. Uh, the case is aluminum, and then the the plate is aluminum. It's a fossil with an uh, with an aluminum plate. Gravel isn't green in Canada. Oh, God. I will say these TX stabs are very easy to tune. I don't I think I'm gonna just sm touch them up a smidge. But these are actually tuned pretty well already. Very nice. I love it. Also looks great too. Full size, man. Look how fucking nice that is. Look at it. Very cool. The board definitely has this like interesting coating to it. It's like a shine. I don't know what this is coated with. Overall, very happy things to build anytime for We'll get this packed up and hopefully shipped out this week too, man. All right, guys. I didn't. I did not even realize the time right now. But guys, it was a good stream God today. Damn, dude. Tandoori chicken. Thank you so much for the five tier ones. I really appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Gregory. What the? Thank you. Thank you, Tandoori. That means a lot, man. I hope you enjoyed the stream too, bro. Have a class 0413 to build. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That's gonna be a nice one too. I love the, the MM Studios ports. Love it. I did. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, it's late time for more plain, pain meds. They said plain meds. And head to bed. Nev, sleep well. You have yourself the most beautiful sleep, okay? You get better. You get better. Okay, let's go find someone to raid. Thanks for the stream. Hey, thank you guys for being here. On a real note, thank you guys for being here, okay? That is the joy of all of this. All right, let's go raid Extra Prius. Extra Prius is building a 500 seaboard. The Tyrannosaurus raid. Oh gosh. <laughs> is that gonna be a new thing we do, Tyrannosaurus? Uh, yeah, Bug, I'll take a look. I'm, I might not answer anything tonight. I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm kind of burnt out from everything today. Um, but I think I might probably answer in the morning if that's cool with you. All right, guys, take care. After watching so many VODs, I was able to catch you live and donate. Thank you, Tandori, that means a lot. Thank you, thank you. Thanks everyone for being here. I appreciate it, man. That's the five-year sub badge now. The Tyrannosaurus, oh God. Can I do that? Can I make a five-year sub badge? I think I can, right? <laughs> Have a good night, Alex. Good night, everyone. Bye, Conan. See ya, everyone. Bye, Manny. Bye, Glimmer. Bye, Move. Shy, Hyper, Bog, Cheese, Victoria, Tandoori, Conan. Bye, everybody. See ya, and I'll talk to you guys... Um, what, 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 Friday. I'll talk to you guys Friday when we do the, uh, the Neo 75. Bye, everybody. See ya.